All motor Rob here. And guess what? I painted the car. A lot of you guys have been following the build on uh, here on YouTube and on Instagram for quite some time now. Almost day one, you know, on Instagram and on YouTube. So if you guys have been around for that long or have been digging down deep into my uh, pictures and stuff like that and videos, then you'll know that the Civic has needed paint for quite some time. And I've always put it off and was worried about performance and how the engine ran because I'm like, I don't care if the car looks like a turd as long as it's hauling ass, you know, surprising people. And, um, you know, with that being said, I just, I never got around to it. But finally, after all these years, I've had the car about six years now, finally painted it, you know. Um, and I'm going to show you guys here in a second what it looks like so far. All right, so I'm just going to give you guys a little walk around tour on how it's looking. The hood, I painted it after I had bought the car here to this unit uh, maybe a month ago. Just because the hood was weathered really bad and little bit of rust spots in it so I immediately like did a decent job of prepping it you know and that's being generous <laughs> and did, and then uh, just painted it because I was tired of the way it was looking but I do want to go back over the hood and clean it up a little bit better the rest of the car was really dirty the clear coat was uh, shading really bad really really bad and uh, I finally just decided, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna paint it. And the thing is that I only have this unit here, you know? And then as you guys see, it's not all that big, but it is big enough for me to get the job done. So, painted it. I didn't use a, a spray gun or anything like that. I actually use spray paint. Now I do have um, some experience with spray paint, you know, as, as far as like being an artist goes not gonna go too deep into that but I figured you know what I'm pretty good with can control so I'm gonna have at it I think it probably cost me about $120 on products you know that's including the paint the clear coat sandpaper you know all the plastic the masking tape um, Bondo because the car did have some dents in it and still does you know now that it's a, a brighter color it's a little bit easier to see some of the things that I've missed but you know what, I'm not out to win any trophies as far as like how the car looks as appearance and stuff like that. I'm not going to no stance meets anymore. As long as the car looks decent, you know, that's all that matters to me. So I painted the inside of the car. I got dry ice and did all the sound deadening and painted the inside. I had to clean and prep the inside but it looks a lot better. I mean, you guys remember from some of the videos how terrible the inside looked. You know, it was horrible. I painted the roof as well. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I did the whole entire interior. That took me, I'd say, at least 10, 12 hours to do that, you know. Dry icing, breaking all the uh, sound deadening, cleaning everything, you know. You just can't paint over dirt. And then as far as the outside... And this is just Rust-Oleum spray paint and Duplicolor clear coat. It's not even wet sanded or anything, still has a lot of uh, orange peel in it. But it's not bad looking, you know, you wouldn't expect a paint job to come out decent looking like this from spray cans, you know.
still got to wet sand all of this stuff down. You know, try to bring a better shine to it because you can see it's kind of streaky, which is really hard. And that's one of those things that when you're using spray paint, it's really hard not to get that streak look. But you can see that there's still, there's definitely is some streak in it, but not a whole lot. You know, so you hit it with, you know, some 1500 grit sandpaper and you work your way all the way up. You know, that should get rid of all of that. And you can see like it's got a pretty good shine to it. You know, this is a whole lot better than how the car used to look. I'm going to put some pictures here in the video so that way you guys can compare and see. You know, it's crazy. I'm probably just going to paint this by hand with a brush back black again. So I wasn't really too worried about getting overspray on that. I had to do some bondo work, but I didn't do a fantastic job. I'm not, you know, I, I don't have really any experience in body work. I'm not a professional or anything, but I, I did the best that I could do, you know, and especially considering the car. Like I said, I'm not out there trying to win freaking stance competitions and, you know, best paint for 2019, you know, best body work. I'm not, I'm not for any of that stuff. So as long as it looks better than it did, I'm happy with that, you know, but there was a huge dent right here and it was a huge dent over here. So I filled that. And you can see I missed some little spots here, like there's like a little, a little ding right there that I had missed. But I mean, I'm not worried about it. So neither should you. <laughs> Those lines that you're seeing along the paint, that's actually a reflection off of this. All I did guys is I took my time, you know, once you start racing the finish and you're going to have a lot of drip marks and stuff like that, over spray marks, but I just, I took my time with it, you know, and I, I think it looks pretty good. I'm definitely, uh, I feel good about how it came out, you know, it doesn't look like a complete turd. But as for the, uh, the paint that I used, I saved some cans here to show you guys. This is the Duplicolor clear coat that I used. And I believe that this is a lacquer, and this is the, the, uh, the actual base coat that I use for the paint and the color right there. Gloss Winter Gray, but we're just going to call it Battlefield Gray. But yeah, that, that's it. You know, I, I sprayed a couple of uh, coats down. I waited 10 minutes in between each coat. I did three coats. And then I waited 30 minutes after the final coat and then I applied the clear coat and I also did three coats of clear coat. So remember if you're going to paint, read the instructions and stuff like that. Um, and don't wait too long to apply the clear coat because it could affect how the paint uh, finishes. Like you can get like wrinkles and stuff like that. Also humidity is a big factor. So keep all those things into consideration. Make sure you use masking tape, you know, when you're taping your, your lights off and stuff so that way you don't get over spray on things and your windows. All 
and stuff like that. But as far as the paint goes, um, I think I used I used about five cans of the clear and I think about six or seven of this here uh, battle gray that we're gonna call this. These cans I got from AutoZone, it was like $11 a can for that. But it, it's worth the money to me. But yeah, you know, I still have to get the door jams. I do want to do the door jams. I think it'll look kind of weird. You can see that the old color. It's like that silver blue. But the next thing, yeah, the door jams and then that small uh, section on the hatch right underneath the glass is blue and I need to take the wing off and paint up there but that's all like minimal stuff it's not going to take too long I'll show you a little bit more of the uh, engine bay and how the fenders look This is gonna annoy me that it's still the factory blue so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but this right here I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna repaint this so that way that looks nice and fresh and here's the other side But yeah, so that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys the update on what I've been doing. Ever since I got the car back from uh, where it was sitting before, like a month ago, when it was sitting outside, just getting weathered on, I've, I've been non-stop busting ass, trying to get every little thing fixed and, and, and up to par, you know, non-stop. I think on the paint alone, the outside paint that I just did, that right there was probably about 13 hours worth of work, maybe a little more. You know, that's prepping, painting, you know. And then you guys saw that I rebuilt the motor again. There was no issues with it. I just wanted to reinforce a couple of things. So I got some better quality parts and did that. Uh, you know, I painted the uh, interior. I did the whole interior. I made this this custom gauge gauge mount that was fun to make you know I still got that one right there that one I still got to do a little bit of work to that one but this one right here is pretty much set it's gonna be uh, uh, coolant temperature and battery voltage here and my radiator fan switch and then my uh, RPM switch for the nitrous if I'm gonna spray nitrous, because nitrous is kind of like on the side, you know, I might not spray it. I don't know. We'll see what the dyno numbers uh, show, and then I'll decide from there. And what else? Ball joints, new clutch flywheel, tie rods. What else did I do? I've been doing a lot, you know. I still gotta. Uh, I still got to secure the radiator fan in there. It's kind of just being held up with some paper towels. It's kind of wedged up against it until I can figure, get the ties to mount the radiator fan. Got the nitrous stuff all wired up thanks to my friend Chris. Shout out, bro, man. I appreciate that, you know. All the fuel lines, uh, fuel pump upgrade. Went with an AM fuel pump, you know, redid all the lines underneath the car so that way it doesn't look so tacky. Actually got good braided line this time instead of using the hose from the uh, Home Depot. I, I was using it as a temporary thing to get the car running. Uh, what else? I don't know. Oh, the oil catch can. You know, I put that in. 
breather catch can. Cause you guys know, man, those, those high revs gonna create a lot of crank crankcase uh, pressure. And I mounted it right there. I want to do a custom uh, fab, like kind of like a cup that's gonna sit under this that bolts up. Just because this is like if this, all right, if I'm racing for a while and this thing starts to fill up with a little bit of oil, and somehow this comes loose, which I don't think it would because that, it's like really good quality and it's on there tight but just in case like if this were to come loose i don't want oil coming down in front of the tire you know that's an accident waiting to happen so i do want to fab something up like a little like a metal cup that can sit over here just to kind of just in case there was that freak accident where this came off i'm not going to wipe out on the track okay and danger myself or or my competitor you know like that's not cool So yeah guys, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this video, and uh, I'll post another one. I'm, I'm going to keep posting videos every week, every uh, Thursday, but the next video I'll probably be doing uh, work on the, on the body itself, um, you know, cleaning it up and stuff, wet sanding it, and trying to make the paint just a little bit nicer looking. I still got to put, um, I got to cut a little bit more of this hole out right here for the, uh, the hood exit header to actually fit through properly and then you can see it's kind of close right there and then when you push the hood all the way down it clears it but I'm I don't know I'd feel a lot better if it was just a little bit wider but also too this thing whatever it's called that's supposed to sit over on the hood and over for this. I need to figure out a way to mount that up because that looks pretty tight. I might have to widen this too just because it's so close. You know, it's a very tight fit on there. But that, that looks sick, you know. So, need to mod that, you know, drill the holes, rivet it in. But yeah, that's, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment on whatever uh, suggestions you might have or questions that you have about the build. Um, you know, just freaking blow it up, man. But thanks for watching, guys.